You might have started to notice a pattern here, is that the more we customize Docker, the longer the commands are going to get. And there is a way to get around that. And that's by using Linux's own abilities and aliases to save customized commands. So if we wanted to run an SSH server, normally we would type, let's go ahead and first remove this uh, so that it works. Uh, docker rm, or docker stop, the container that's running, that's kickass Goldstein, come up with really clever names, and then docker remove CAE. So if we wanted to start an SSH server, normally we would type docker run as a detached container with ports 50,000 mapped to the container's SSH port. The image that we want to run this from is Thacker slash Ubuntu SSHD version 14.04. And then the command to run the container is user sbin sshd. Oh, looks like I typed Ubuntu SSHD. There we go. So now the container is running again. And you see it has a different name. But that's a really long command. So let's go ahead and copy this. We don't want to run this too much. So let's go ahead and copy this and navigate to our bash profile, which is in our home directory, but it's a hidden file. So it starts with a dot bash underscore profile. And you can see I've created one alias here. But we're going to be creating many more. So let's create an alias for SSH container and set that to equal our command. Now, whenever we want to run an SSH container, we can just type SSH container and it will create a new container running SSH. Let's save this and exit. And what other command might we want to put on the bash profile? Well, if we want to expand beyond just an SSH process and install custom apps like Node, NPM, Ruby on Rails, then we'll want to mess around inside of the SSH container and maybe commit the results later. So for that, we would normally run docker run, and we don't need to open any ports, but we do need to run it in interactive mode so that we can mess around inside of the terminal within the container. And the image again would be Thacker slash Ubuntu SSHD version 14.04, and then the command would be bin bash to enter the terminal. And so now we've entered. But we don't want to type this command all the time either. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and add it also to the bash profile. And I'm going to call this command alias SSH test container. And save. Now the bash profile won't be updated until we log out and log back in. So let's do that. Log out and then log back in. But now, if we wanted to and create a test container, we would just type SSH test container. And that automatically logs us in. Now, suppose we just wanted to poke around inside of a container and we didn't want to type docker run IT image and then bin bash every single time and, and maybe we also want the ssh port open so that anyone else can ssh into it if they wanted uh, but we don't want to type this every single time uh, we can actually create a, a function for that in our bash profile and i have actually so um, this function right here i'm calling this function test container uh, takes one argument and then it runs that command docker run it uh, port 22 it, it opens that port and then it automatically shells you into this new container uh, and all you have to do is provide one argument which is the name of the image so I've added this function to my bash profile and mapped it to the container test alias just a quick overview of how this works. The command is container test, and it takes one argument, the name of the image. So now if we wanted to 
bash into any image that we have available here, we would just type container test and then the name of the image, Thacker uh, slash Ubuntu SSHD 14.04. And now we're in. Now suppose we wanted to do this with uh, Ubuntu 12.04. So I would just do container test Ubuntu 12.04. And that created another container automatically. Um, and just to prove to you that I'm not pulling your leg, I'm going to show all of the containers that were recently created. So this right here matches the ID of this right here, which is from the image Thacker Ubuntu 14.04. And this container right here which was from 12.04 matches the image Ubuntu 12.04 and their container IDs also match each other. So that's a great shortcut to automatically bashing into a new container.